Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central, and I'm going to explain the difference between a router versus a modem. This is a Wi-Fi router, and this is probably the one, uh, the device that most of us are familiar with. This is what provides our Wi-Fi, and it has a bunch of connections in the back, physical connections for us to plug devices in, and usually you're probably familiar with the internet port, so the internet port is where you plug your modem in. So the, a router by itself is basically Wi-Fi and it provides IP addresses for your devices. It provides a, a way for you to connect all your devices together, but it doesn't include uh, internet. It doesn't include a way to connect to the internet other than you have to connect it to a modem via this internet port right here. This one would be a modem. I know this is a modem because it has this weird little coaxial uh, port down here for us to plug into a coaxial connection. Routers don't have these. If you see one of these, you automatically know it's a modem and not a router. You see this router over here, the router does not have a port. It doesn't have this. This is a modem, this is a router. Router doesn't have that. So you need a way to connect this modem via one of these ports, because a modem usually has an analog connection like that. It's either a cable one like this, or it's a, it'll be a phone port. There's two kinds of modems. There's a cable modem, which this is a cable modem, and I know it's a cable modem because of this coaxial port. Or it could be a DSL modem. A DSL modem connects over your phone, and instead of this, it'll have like it's, it's a phone port, if you know what a phone port looks like. It's almost like an Ethernet port like this, but it's smaller. It's like one your phone would be plugged into. I don't have one for an example, but just know that there's two kinds of modems. Cable modems and DSL modems. And this one I know is a modem because it has this. And it usually on the back, it'll ha usually it has one port. This has two, but it doesn't have a bunch of ports like the router does. and doesn't have a bunch of fancy features. It's literally just a coaxial port and an ethernet port over here. You might be familiar with a modem router combo, which is basically a modem. They take a modem and they take a router and they put it into one device and put it all together. And it's called a modem router combo like this. So a lot of us are probably familiar with these. Usually you're Cable companies, when you sign up for internet, they'll provide you usually with a combo like this. And I know this is a combo because it has a bunch of LAN ports right here. And it also has this coaxial port that the modem has, just like that. So that's how I know it's a modem router combo. So I know this is two devices in one. Just because I, it has these four ports and it has this. So I know it's a modem router combo. My apartment is wired with these ports on the wall. This one's kind of dirty and nasty. This is how it is here at this apartment. But this is how the modem plugs into the internet. You need a modem to access the internet and this is where it plugs into. So normally you'll have a coaxial cable like this. It'll be like a long round black cable. And then on the inside it has one copper wire and you just kind of put this in here in the wall and screw it into there. This is where my internet comes from. This is a cable uh, cable internet hookup. And I usually get, you get cable internet from like a TV, someone who provides TV like Comcast or Cox or whoever is in your area. Comcast Xfinity is a pretty common one. That's who we have here. And then the other end is the same. The other end looks like this. So the modem, this is where the modem comes into play. This is where the internet comes from. So the, this, has to plug into here. There's nowhere, there's nowhere on the back of the router to plug this in. So you need a modem to be able to interpret the signal. Modem, the modem is where the internet comes from. So the other end of this is going to plug into the modem. See if I can turn this in here with one hand. You plug the other end of your connection into the modem. And this is able to interpret the signal from the cable company and provide an internet connection. So what the modem does is you can plug a wired device. This one provides two, but usually it's one. You can, provi you can plug in a wired device 
and you can access the internet from here. This doesn't have Wi-Fi. It doesn't have any fancy features. It doesn't have DHCP. It does nothing. It literally allows you to access the internet via this connection and, per, and it provides you with one or two physical devices to be able to access the internet. So the question is, the or the problem is, how do you get Wi-Fi? How do I, if I, if I have more than two devices or if you only have one port, if I have more than just one wired device, like how does my phone get on the internet from, from home? That's where a router comes into play. Instead of plugging a computer into this port on the modem, because which is, this is how it was done in the old days. You just have one computer and you plugged it into that port and that's how you got on the internet. But now we have a bunch of devices. We need Wi-Fi and we need all kinds of stuff to be plugged in the internet. So you take a cable and I'm going to show you real quick. You take a cable like this, which normally it comes with the router. This one came with this router and you plug this into your modem. And now the other end goes in your router on the internet port. Normally routers have a bunch of ports like this. This one has five. You can tell which one is the internet port, not only because it's labeled internet and it's a different color, but normally your LAN ports, which you plug all your devices into, are all like, normally they're all grouped together like this. And then your internet port, or it might be called WAN for a wide area network, is usually separate. It's, it's physically different than the rest. It might be a different color. There might be like a, a gap in there like this, but you can, the internet port is always different. So one end goes into your modem, the other end goes into your router. And now your router can access the internet because you have the modem plugged in. So the router provides not only more ports, it gives you more ports to plug into. It also provides Wi-Fi. You see this one's kind of weird looking. It's got all these antennas. It provides you Wi-Fi. It lets you connect more than just a limited, just, you know, a limited amount of physical devices like the modem provides. So this one's the modem that provides internet and the router, the benefit of the router is it provides Wi-Fi and it allows you, it gives you your own network and allows you to connect more devices. It allows you, allows you to connect your phones and it gives you your Wi-Fi access to the internet. Now where the modem router combo is different is you plug into the wall and now you're supposed to go into the modem, right? Well, if we have a modem router combo, this combo already has the other, already has the coaxial connection for this. So we don't even need to get a modem because the modem is built in. So the modem, do I, if you, if the question is, do I need a modem? The answer is yes. If you want cable internet, you need a modem. You can't just get internet with a router. So this is a modem router combo. So do I have a router? Yes. Do I have a modem? Yes. Do I need to buy a separate modem? The answer is no, because the modem is already built in. So you can just plug directly into the modem router combo. And you, this has, it doesn't, it doesn't, this one isn't as weird looking as the other one. It doesn't have a bunch of antennas sticking out of it, but it does have Wi-Fi, and it allows you to have more computers and whatever you want plugged in here. So a modem router combo just kind of groups a router and a modem into one device together. So you have fewer things sitting on your table. So if you are trying to figure out what you need, go ahead and look around your house or your apartment and try to find um, what kind of ports you have. If you have a port like this, this is where your internet's gonna come from. It's gonna, if you have a port like this, then this does not have a way to plug into this router. You see, there's no way, there's no cable that goes from there to this router. So I need a modem. See, there you have a, you have, there's a cable that can go from there to there. That's how you know you need a cable modem. In my apartment, I also have a hookup for a DSL modem. Now this port is, whoever lived here previous, before I did, they just ruined this port. It looks like it's fried. But it's basically, it looks like a phone jack. It's a little bit smaller than an ethernet port, but it's a phone jack. So this, I already, if you have this, then obviously a cable modem won't work because this is another way to get internet. This would require 
a DSL modem, but this is a cable modem. So this, this can't plug into this. So a cable modem would not work for this. You would want something, you'd want a DSL modem, which would look similar to this, except instead of this coaxial connection, it would look just like that. And that's where your internet would come from. So you would plug in your DSL into your DSL modem and then you plug your modem into your router. Now obviously in this modem router combo I have here, this would not work with a DSL connection because this, again, does not plug into this. I've personally in my life never come across a cable modem uh, a modem router combo that works with DSL. I'm not saying the internet exists. I, I just don't know. I could just probably look it up on the internet real quick, but I've personally in my life never come across one. They might, they, um, they probably exist, but I've just never seen one. Just to recap real quick, if you're trying to decide what you need to get internet, the answer is to get internet, you need a port in your wall like this. You most likely have a cable port like this. And if you do, you need a modem. A modem is required for internet access on your home network. So a modem will be required. So the question is, what do you already own? If you already own a modem router combo, then you don't need to buy a modem because you already have a modem built into your modem router combo. What you need is a way to plug into the internet. This is where you get internet from. So you need something that will go from here into eventually make it to your router. So if it's not a modem router combo, you can't, you obviously can't plug from here into your router, but this one you can, because it's got a com, it's got a modem built into it. If you don't own one of these, then you need a modem and then you need, then you need a router if you want Wi-Fi. Or of course, you can just go buy a modem router combo so you don't need two devices. So it just depends what you what kind of setup you like. I prefer to have a modem and a router, but that's just me. I don't know, maybe I'm just old school. There's no drawback or, I mean, I just like to have two devices. If you like to have the combo, I mean, that's fine. There's no real benefit or, I mean, it's just what you prefer. The modem will plug into your port and that provides your internet, but it doesn't. a modem does not provide Wi-Fi. It only provides wired ports. That's all a modem does. So if you want Wi-Fi, if you want your phone to connect to your to a Wi-Fi network at home, then you need a router. The router provides the Wi-Fi. The modem provides the internet. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, a lot here, but if you have a port like this, you need a cable modem like this. If you have an RJ45 port like this, then a cable modem will not work. You need a DSL modem. You can buy these at either one of these at like your uh, local like Walmart or any kind of electronic store. They'll probably have both kinds of modems. Another option, if you don't have the, the ports on your walls installed, like if you're in an apartment or your house that doesn't have the ports, you can get a mobile router and what this is, is it connects to, this is just one particular example. It's a Netgear M1 mobile router. Basically, it connects to your cell or your smartphone service. So for example, Verizon or Sprint or whatever you use for your phone, this will connect to your uh, data network. And basically you plug it into power and it'll provide Wi-Fi access in your house without a, a modem. So. Let me just show you a couple pictures of it. The back of it looks like this. You have a USB port, and let's see, there's two different kinds of USB ports it looks like. And then you have an ethernet, one ethernet port, so you can plug one wired device into it. And it has a little screen on here so you can monitor the, uh, like you see the LTE, it connects to LTE. So it's kind of like, it connects to your phone service, so you don't need the ports in your house. This is called a mobile router. And this one, as I'm looking on the internet right now, is about 350 bucks, so it's pretty costly. But it's nice because you can bring it wherever you want. You can unplug it. And it's basically, it provides internet and you don't need a modem because it's built in and it connects to your data. For another quick review, a router by itself does not have any way to connect to the internet. All it is is a Wi-Fi 
connection you can connect to with your phone with no internet. In order to get a router on the internet, you need to connect it to a modem. A modem is required for internet, whether, it, whether it's a cable modem or a DSL modem, uh, you just need a modem. This router has a modem built in. The modem is still required, but the modem is built in, so you don't need to buy a separate modem. It's a modem router combo. So anyways, hopefully this wasn't too confusing. I tried to explain it in a few different ways, as I know we all learn things differently at different paces and learn, you know, just different. So if this helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you later.